a nice afternoon setting up for us around southern Colorado. Look at your high temperatures sitting in the lower to middle 80s, 80 in the springs, 87 in Pueblo. Some of the plains locations are going to push the 90 degree mark. La Junta tops out at 88. We'll see 60s and 70s, even for our mountain friends, 73 in Salada, 77 at Alamosa. Even some of the higher elevation locations are going to get into the upper 60s, places like Woodland Park. A Street and Abilene, a pretty sunrise setting up for us here as well as we go around the corner from our Garadio News Channel 13 studios. 42 degrees of current temperature on calm winds. Sixth Street and Midtown Circle, our Pueblo Chieftain Studio camera shows 45 degrees and the winds are calm here as well. Out to Eads, one of the earliest sunrises that we see around southern Colorado. A bit of a breeze for you. Winds out of the east at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, 6 miles per hour now. Temperatures are also sitting in the middle 40s for you at 45. Around the rest of the region, 45 at the Springs, 47 at Pueblo, upper 40s and lower to middle 50s in the Plains, even some mid 50s as you head down towards Trinidad, which checks in with 55. In the mountain regions, temperatures are cooler, not surprisingly. 42 in Salida, 40 at Alamosa, 30 is the current reading in Leadville. Skycast started off at noon today. We noticed that there will be some clouds and isolated showers can't be ruled out either. A rumble of thunder is also possible throughout the rest of the day. The bulk of the showers are going to be off to the west and north of the city of Colorado Springs, off to the northeast as well on that I-70 corridor between Lyman and Burlington, and north of I-70 as you head into northwestern portions of Kansas. By Monday morning, it's all gone, and the Monday morning commute should be a good one, save for a breeze that will develop during the Monday afternoon time frame especially. That'll be in Monday morning also. 49 for the Springs for tonight, 50 in Pueblo. So temperatures as you head out to your school and work plans tomorrow are going to be quite mild. Upper 40s and lower 50s in the plains, 30s and 40s in the mountains. Leadville drops down to 31, Alamosa 37. Springs seven day forecast. High temperatures are going to be even warmer as we go through our Monday. We'll call for 82. And then readings begin to drop back on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. They'll be sitting in the lower to middle 70s, and there will be that chance for showers and storms back in the forecast as we go into next weekend. Pueblo's seven-day forecast also calls for that chance for showers and storms as the weather pattern becomes much more active, Bonnie, than what we're seeing, especially in the middle portion of this coming week. High temperatures are going to be sitting near 90 tomorrow. Then they rise up into the lower to middle 80s in terms of the actual normals. That's above where we should be. And then as we go through the last three days, that's closer to the, to the normal as high temperatures begin to drop back with that extra cloud cover. Canyon City seven-day forecast, you're going to be sitting in the lower 80s for the next three days. Today, tomorrow, and again on Tuesday. Then we drop back to the lower to middle 70s on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Lows are in the upper 40s and lower 50s as they are throughout much of the region, except up in the mountain locations, which will be somewhat cooler. Lower to middle 40s in Teller County. You will see high temperatures drop to the lower to middle 60s and even some upper 50s on Friday and Saturday. Again, pretty close to where we should be, and there will be an enhanced chance, a better chance for showers and storms late in our seven day outlook. Very nice week coming up mm -hmm. ahead, and a, what a beautiful Sunday to get outdoors. Maybe take your dog on a walk, maybe go for a hike, have a barbecue perhaps. Yeah, save for the breeze. And of course, if you're going to be barbecuing, you want to close off that lid and make right. sure you don't get any ashes out on some of those dry fields. Dry conditions.